Right, hi, welcome to a new video. Today we're trying out a completely new concept, something that I think might interest you guys. I've spoken before about how I've, um, I, I, at points more than I do now, been involved in like putting an, a buyer and a seller of different cars together and you know getting a commission on that so brokering supercar deals now a lot of people have since asked me how did you get into that business what's it like living in that business i don't do it so much anymore but i have a very close friend slash colleague we work on other businesses together who has his own car dealership and he spends his days buying selling cars so i thought it'd be interesting to literally just follow him this is a completely normal uh, wednesday and we're going to follow him around for 24 hours and see what his day is like. So it's currently nine o'clock in the morning and he's gonna be heading to the office. So we've come here to join him. He'll be any minute, he speaks a lot of Italian, he speaks English of course, a lot of French as well. So I hope there's not gonna to be too many subtitles in this video necessary, but uh, yeah. Anyways, he should show up any minute. Quelque chose me dit que pour aller au travail, Johnny est un peu plus classe que moi quand même. En scooter. Bonjour. Hey. Vous, vous montez? Ça va? Ouais. Right, we've come up and we're actually in Johnny's apartment, so thank you for, for welcoming us. This is kind of the, the chaos before the, well, actually kind of the storm, the chaos continues. <laughs> yeah. right, we've got the family here, we've got the kids, we've got the dog. Uh, it's 9am and you're dressed much more partially than I am. Your is our, is that is there a particular reason why you have to dress this way? Well, uh, well, I like to dress this way and I think for sure uh, it, it gives confidence to the clients and also for all the other businesses I have. I mean, we always need to be dressed in a certain way and then also to go to lunches and dinners yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, perfect. And it's nine o'clock. Is it every day similar kind of routine where you leave here at nine, go to the office dealership um, after spending some time with the family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend a few hours in the morning with the family and then nine o'clock is pretty much the uh, the time to go. And uh, from next week, I think we'll leave a little bit earlier because Crush is going to start to go to the yeah. kindergarten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's an awesome kind of like, I, I enjoy having that routine in the morning and being able to like go and then you don't know what kind of expects you is waiting for you at the dealership because it's always different in your business. That's what we're going to see now, boys. So let's go downstairs, see what you've got because there's always a different car down there. Yeah. And let's go to the dealership. We're in the car park and I noticed there's a, one of your logos on this Porsche. This is one of you? Yes, so this daily. is one of the dailies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and because I have my daily with me, do you have something with a bit more space, maybe? We should be able to find something. Okay, I'll follow you. Yeah, it fits in there. This is the one. Right? Okay, sweet. plus de place là-dedans. Celle-là, ça fait pas longtemps que tu l'as, non? Non, ça fait depuis la semaine dernière. Ah oui. Ben elle a 14 000 km. Pour la petite Grace, getting out of the car park is uh, with this car is not the easiest. I can imagine the Monaco car park. So luckily, we have the 360 cam here which is really helpful. It's always busy in the morning. Yeah, very busy, but uh, luckily I have only like six, seven hundred meters, I think, to get to the showroom. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So even if it stands still traffic, you're not too, taking too long. No, I actually, I would walk often, but then in at lunchtime, I often have uh, <clears throat> my family come to the showroom and to come back up, it's quite uphill with the, with the babies and stuff and, and the children, so it's a bit complicated. <laughs> And so you have parking spaces for, for the cars uh, at home, at the dealership, everywhere? Yeah, uh, well the dealership obviously we have a lot of parking spaces around because uh, yeah, just to keep our stock. But we're always desperately looking for new parking spaces obviously. Yeah, Monaco is not easy. Like. <coughs> no. Another uh, tight parking, huh? Yeah. We spend more time in the car parks than on the road. Eh? <laughs> Bonjour les gars. Ça va? Ça va? Tu vois l'équipe est déjà en train de bosser. Ton bureau il est où il est? Ton bureau ici. Ça commence déjà les appels. Eh c'est ça. Premier appel. Ciao Giulio. Comment? Hein? Ah, 
mezzogiorno devo prendere l'Audi perché secondo me no, non è mezzogiorno. Non è mezzogiorno, non è mezzogiorno. 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 Non è on avait besoin et aussi c'est il y a le câblage pour connecter les deux câbles ensemble. Et um, et bis mindestens, also mindestens so 2 bis 2,2 tonnen. How many uh, how many languages do you speak, Johnny? I speak five languages fluently. And that helps you a lot, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yes. Yesterday, for example, we had a German client who came in and who was really happy to speak German. And uh, we have people from Spain calling, so I can speak Spanish to them. And obviously, the other main languages here in Monaco are French, English, and Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Listen, I thought we'd just take a little <coughs> look around um, the garage. Also, yep. some cars are um, dépotent. How do you say that in English? They're, they've been dropped off by clients. The, yeah. the garage doesn't actually own them. Yeah. And then you guys sell them and get a commission off that. Yeah. And then um, some of them are actually your own stock. Exactly. So yeah. you have, how much stock do you have yourself? We have about 3 million uh, of uh, stock, company stock, mm. which is, I think, uh, not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. And um, on top, uh, what we do, which a lot of others don't do, is uh, when we have a, a car from our client, we can also take back another car okay. uh, so we sell a car from a client and, and and the potential buyer arrives with his own car we actually buy back the car from the new client and uh, which is quite cash flow intensive but um, that's why also a lot of the other companies around here don't do it but uh, we have um, good cash flow so we can do it Okay, fantastic. And so, so for example, this is actually one of yours. So this is one of the stock cars because you guys are an official Dallara dealer. Exactly, yeah. This is our Dallara Stradale demo, uh, which we configured in uh, this way and uh, which we take out almost every day because uh, I can't stay without driving it. Yeah, exactly. And you actually, correct me if I'm wrong, you sold one of these a couple of days ago, right? Correct, yeah. We configured one for one of our clients just a few days ago. And um, yeah, and on top, uh, so we're taking back a very nice car and he's bringing us a second car for sale as well. So it's a very nice operation. Yeah, it's a win-win. Win-win, yeah. Okay, so this is one of yours, but then the one behind <coughs> here, which is, yeah, very expensive original AC Cobra, uh, that is a client who left it for sale, right? 1964 AC Cobra uh, left by, uh, one of our good clients um, living here in Monaco. He bought the car in the US, restored it in the US with one of the, um, I think the number one guy for restoring Cobras uh, close to Los Angeles. And, uh, and now we have it here for sale. That's a, kind, it's a particular car to sell, right? Yeah, it's for sure one of those special pieces that we're starting to have more and more here and uh, which don't have such a quick turnover, but also, I mean, these were built, I think 430 pieces were built between 1964 and 1966, 67, I believe. Many of those got destroyed, so it's really only a handful which are left. And in these conditions, I think there's only four or five around the world. A uh, very special piece. Yeah, awesome. Ferrari? Ferrari super fast. We actually sold this car in February to the current owner and now are selling it again or actually it's been sold already so it will leave the garage tomorrow or the day after. Oh, so you sold, you sold it twice? We sold it twice this year, yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's a pretty cool deal. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. And you don't stop that Ferrari, you've also got this which, this isn't one of your stock, right? This is not one of our stock, um, it's also one of our clients, uh, it's under offer, so we received an offer on it yesterday, uh, it's a little bit low, so we're trying to lift the offer a little bit to then see with the current owner if he wants to sell it at that price. Yeah, very cool, especially out of your parents. Right, let's walk, let's walk around to see what else there is. Uh, you managed to fit <coughs> as many cars as possible in here. I mean, the parking, look at this. <laughs> but it's important, right? Because the showroom is a big part of this. Yeah, very important. I mean, we try to keep our, our showroom mm, fitted with, with the nice vehicles. And obviously, we have to uh, fit as many in as possible. Um, so here we have a nice Koenigsegg, uh, which is for sale for 3.5 million. This is not 
our car, so it's a client's car. We also have a lot of our stock around Monaco and other parking uh, spaces. But yeah, as we sell cars, we, we turn around our vehicles and with client what cars, do. depending what, what we have re uh, coming and going. And so you, you also, so a client like a car like this, a client will request a price and then you basically add a commission on top of that, right? Is that what it works? Uh, well, it works that we take a commission okay. off from that price because obviously a potential buyer will never want to pay a yeah. premium. So the seller will lose a slight amount from his, uh, from his sale price. Yeah. But um, yeah, we try to, to find the correct price to, to, to give a right turn a turnaround of the cars. Got you, got you. And then we've got a very cool looking, I mean, it's very tightly fit in there, parked in the RS6. And there's a kind of cool story behind this one. Yeah, well, this RS6 arrived about 10 days ago. We actually sold this already uh, six months ago, but it was delayed in delivery. So we found the, the buyer another RS6. Now we are just about having sold this one as well because the potential buyer uh, has a car with us which we have sold and which the new owner is waiting just for the financing to be approved. If that's approved then the sale of the RS6 goes through so as that's well. that's two RS6s and not a lot of time. Though. Yes, correct. Yeah. Awesome. <coughs> okay, we've got desks of some of the team and then a van der Hall. These are very cool, three wheel van der Hall's. Brand new. Uh, we have a few s different colors. Uh, because we are Vanderhall dealers, so yeah, you can have a choice of colors. These are Venice GTSs with the 194 horsepower engine. Very fun to drive as well. Awesome. So yeah, the morning basically just being you on the phone making deals. Um, yeah, so you're also not only dealing obviously with these kinds of cars. You were on a deal for a smart car today and different kinds of cars as well, so. Absolutely, yeah, so we don't have all the stock here. Obviously, we try to keep the most premium cars inside here, but we do a lot of minis as well and, and smarts as well. So they are in stock in our other parking spaces around Monaco. Yeah, 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 cool. Awesome, well, I'll let you get back to it and then uh, we'll catch up probably around lunch. Great. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, so we just received the call from a client who wants to see the Bentayga. So we're gonna go downstairs to come to take it out of the parking so that we show him in the sunlight. Let's do it. Yeah, we better take the stairs because else we're gonna be here till tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the lift so slow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> a friend of, of Seb is coming to see the Bentayga. Yeah, exactly. He makes uh, a couple million subscribers, uh, amazing YouTube videos. <laughs> a few subscribers to, to spare. <laughs> <laughs> So this you actually picked up uh, end of last week and you've already got a client coming today. Yeah, it, it, well it's crazy, I mean we put it on the internet yesterday. I think this client actually saw it on Instagram. So yeah, it's incredible how, how much we are now working with Instagram as well. And um, yeah, so I, I actually bought this like uh, last minute on Friday afternoon because Friday around 3 p.m. we sold the Macan Turbo. And so I needed a car for the weekend for the family. And uh, at five in the afternoon, I bought, the, I bought this one. <laughs> Pretty spontaneous. Oh, look at this. Pista. Yeah, very nice pista. So we we so we're parking it here. All right, so close to the to the dealership. Yeah, in front of the church. Yeah, nice spot actually to show clients the car. Yeah, very nice, especially in the in the we have sun the whole day here, so the cars are really in a nice in a nice light. Yeah. We even got the bells ringing. <laughs> Did you see how metallic this paint is? No, not yet. It's like uh, almost a flake type of paint. I think this is 5K just for the paint. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh my God. And then uh, one more thing I really want to show you. You have these uh, iPad screens. Oh yes. Which are also something like 6.5K option on top. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Oh, so you can do... It's all in French, but yeah, you can see everything. Yeah, you can actually have the GPS here, the speed, uh, all kinds of things. 
you have another display also here. And look Selling how it, point. when you press it, it comes oh, out yeah. and you can actually uh, change the temperatures, see this, the external temperature, the distance you've traveled, the, uh, the actual speed. That's super cool. Is this going to be like a point you're going to, you know, talk about a lot to the client? For sure, yeah. Very, very nice. And the mulligan stitching is also one of my favorite on the Bentleys. It's a nice spec. Shall we go back to the dealership with yep. from there? Yep, perfect. C'est là. Hey, how are you? How you doing, boss? <laughs> great, great. You good? Good, good, and you? This is Sana. Hi, nice to meet you. It's uh, way bigger than I uh, <laughs> than I remembered. Yeah. Can I take a seat? Yeah, 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 please. It's great, huh? Yeah, it's it's really it's, it has like pr pretty much anything you can put inside. All the options. All the options. You can start it there, uh, start stop. You don't need to put the key anywhere. No, there. no. Has uh, ventilated seat, heated seats, the mulligan, uh, you know, diamond stitching, uh, oh, wow. night vision, it parks by itself. Does uh, it have a 360? Yes. 360, yes. Mm -hmm. Which you can either keep like this or put like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I do luck on the mean, I come back here. Yeah, sure. Enjoy! Off it goes. So yeah, it's always unpredictable. You never know when someone's gonna come, right? Never, never, no. Always unpredictable, but also things change. Especially our top clients, they're like, yeah, I wanna see a car in like 10 minutes. You have to organize it, have it always cleaned and all of that. So it's always a bit of running left and right, but it's, it's good fun. And if you have a good team behind it, that's that's the most important thing, you know? Yeah, for sure. Va bene, poco prima di entrare al parcheggio che magari te la faccio portare al negozio. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's basically it's got the power that I have in the Panamera as well. Like, if it wants to, it'll give you it. Yeah. And if it, but it's so comfortable. I mean, I, we tried the X5. This is twice the comfort level. Mm -hmm. Also twice the price. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic car. Yeah. I don't like the exterior though, but I mean, you can change it or wrap it. I don't like the color. No. I think I'm too young for this color. You too, you're too young for this color. I like it. Oh. And andiamo, andiamo. Dai, andiamo. Andiamo a mangiare? Andiamo a casa. Andiamo da tuo fratello. Dai, andiamo. Non hai fame? Ah, ce l'hai fame, vero? Oh. Ma tutta la famiglia. Tutta la famiglia. Avevi manco le petit. Mais bon, presque tout le petit là à la maison. Ouais, ben on va le rejoindre à la maison. Bon, ben cette voiture, tu l'auras peut-être pas eu très longtemps. Hein. <laughs> And off we run to to one of our flats where, that we rent out. And um, there is an air conditioning problem. <laughs> yeah, I thought this would be fun to show as well. That, so you have the dealership. But uh, you're also able, it's one of the luxuries and the great things about this industry is um, there's so much to be done in the business, but it does allow you to manage your own time so that you can open other doors as well. Yeah, definitely. I also have a great team behind which uh, take care of things when I cannot be there. And obviously also, you know, back office things that I would not have the time to take care of everything. Yeah, the registration of the cars, moving the cars around, changing tires, repairing little scratches here and there. Exactly. Like yeah. yeah, all those things, all those things, uh, yeah, definitely. They take time in the end. Hello. I've been behind the camera this whole time. But yeah, okay, great. So let's go see this apartment. Okay. See you soon davanti all'entrata principale. Ti ho chiamato? Ah, perfetto. Perché pensavo che magari avevi le chiavi giù di sotto. He's a crazy guy. Praticamente quando si accende al massimo con la temperatura più bassa e non... La non girava, ma l'unità esterna era bollente. Adesso la ventola gira.
Ah. 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 And we're back. Back in the office. And about 15 phone calls to make, I expect. So when when people come in and they, they want to sell their car or they want to give in their car on on the acquisition of another car, we, we look at the uh, French market as we're in Monaco. Uh, Monaco is a very restrict um, country, so a lot of sales go on and go out to, uh, towards the whole of France and we are very influenced by the, the French market. So to have a good idea, we go and look at the, at the French market. So the best place to do that is on, on La Centrale. Let's have a look at, uh, at the Ferrari. You must spend your days basically checking the market and seeing. Did COVID have a big effect? Uh, the COVID, uh, well, honestly, uh, since after the COVID, the, the market is very, very active. Okay. So, so I would definitely say that mm, the prices didn't go up, but the liquidity in the market went up. So. And this is all, ca all, all cars or high-end cars? Well, yeah, that's, I was about to get to that. Um, it's many, many high-end cars, definitely, all, all the premium cars as well. Um, but uh, the, the market of the Ferraris was a little bit declining before the COVID. Yeah. And I would say that it just picked up slightly after COVID. So we are now, I think, back on a stable market for Ferraris whilst we were on a downhill before COVID. Thank God, because I've got one. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, at the moment, I think it's quite a good market, but it depends also a lot on what model I like. For example, <coughs> uh, standard 488s at the moment are, are not in a very good situation. Pistas also have had quite a decline in the since September 2019 to now, but now stabilized somewhere around 330, 350 thousand. The super fast is a market which is is quite active at the moment. Okay. There are some calls coming in and uh, definitely an opportunity there. Do you know much about the Scuderia market? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's been trying to sell my car. <laughs> you you want me to get rid of it? <laughs> you uh, want to something else? I uh, no 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 no. I got an offer. Well, an yeah. offer. I got a client who walked in and he saw your car and he wanted to buy it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens there. But yeah. No, but it's cool to see. And so this is where you also put your cars up for sale, right? Yeah, this is one of the websites where we put our cars up for sale. So <laughs> definitely we always have to have an eye on the market and the market moves all the time. So um, over uh, 30 days, you know, every 30 days maximum, you have to have a look into the cars you have for sale and if things move, if you need to move uh, the prices or uh, what's going on, what other cars are available. Yeah. The colors are important, especially for these high-end cars. Uh, sometimes one color is worth more than another color or at that moment there's a lot of the same color for sale. And then it becomes more difficult. It, it seems to me you're basically either on the phone or tracking the market or meeting clients. Those seem to be like the three main activities really. So in between kind of the spontaneous phone calls that come in and uh, you know taking care of the things on the other one, there you go. <laughs> You're shrinking the market. Yeah, that's right. I mean, oh, see? that's right. It's non-stop. Take it if you yeah. need to. No, no, it's okay. Um, it's, it's. I mean, um, like you say. I mean, there's. Uh, these are the my my main things are speaking to the clients, doing deals over the phone, or locally. Uh, today was a very calm day. And there is not much, not many people who walked in apart from, uh, let's say, the Bentayga who. Yeah we went to do outside um, but I mean yeah in the end you know all the back office is done uh, some, uh, somewhere else so Lorenzo is, is taking care of all uh, of the back office stuff uh, Danielle is, is very busy also on sales 
uh, but c takes care of acquisitions mainly. Uh, so uh, he is the one who takes mainly cares of uh, care of the acquisitions. Uh, I take care mainly of like the high 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 end clients which yeah. want a little bit more of. Uh, special experience let's say and guidance and stuff yeah guidance and maybe like a, a test drive or well, because you used to be doing this yeah i used to test drive <laughs> those machines f1 cars yeah yeah <laughs> so you know what you're talking about right? yeah that's right one quick question i have just like personal curiosity do most people buy cars outright now the supercars or finance it's i would say like 50 50 because yeah. it's, uh, I mean, a lot of people now say, okay, I mean, money is quite cheap, so I can do a lot with my money. Uh, why put it all blocked in, in a car if I can uh, finance it over a few years' time and... Um, Cheaper than liquidity. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. in the UK, I know it's a high amount of finance, but it's lower here. 50-50 is interesting to hear, though. Um, okay, awesome. Well, I'll let you get to your calls. Your phone's ringing again. And then we'll check in a little bit. Johnny, thank you so much for today. I'm going to head off now. I'm going to let you enjoy with the family the rest of your evening. It's the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it's been fascinating following you between the phone, the computer, everything. So thank you. Anything you want to say to the people watching? Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here with me today. And uh, thank you, Seth, for coming along to having me the whole day with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, it was interesting and for us to spend the entire day, literally from the beginning of the day to now yeah, together. Yeah, it must have been annoying for you. <laughs> no, no, it was a pleasure. I feel like I learned a lot. Um, yeah, thank you so much and I uh, hope, um, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Well, listen, see you soon. I'm going to head out. I'll see you tomorrow. And guys, the Instagram, everything's going to be down below. So yeah, I'll let you get on with your evening. But thanks for today. See you. And guys, I hope you... Well, I'm going to pull this door. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Completely different style to what we usually do. But I get so many questions. How does it work in this industry? And all that jazz that I really just wanted to... Um, yeah. Follow Johnny, I know him very well. I mean, this is one of many things he has going on. It's nuts how much he's on the phone for all these car deals. And uh, yeah, I just hope it kind of managed to shine a light on what it's like to running your own car dealership um, while still having a family and doing everything that he does. And so yeah, you know, huge thank you to him. As I said, all the Instagrams will be down below. I just need to run off to my office now because I've also got the day job I need to get back to. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna be in the office till late today, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please leave a thumbs up or comment down below so I can maybe make different ones with people in different industries. So yeah, take care. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.